Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to show you an istista example. Let us take a very simple example first and then we will go on to a more difficult one. Okay? Now, here is an example where we have an istisna contract and the contract price is 100,000. Remember, in an istisna, the contract price cannot be increased. Alright? Even if the cost is increasing, you cannot increase the contract price because it is also a sale contract. Remember that. Now, what we do is because it, it, it crosses a few financial years, where whatever money is spent on the contract, like materials and labor, you have to accumulate this money in the balance sheet under something called the Istisna Work in Progress account. It will be sitting on the asset side of the balance sheet. In addition to the cost you are incurring, you are going to add the profit you are recognizing each year into the Work in Progress account. Now, how do we calculate a profit when we the, 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 the construction is not complete? What we do is we use something called the stage of completion or percentage of completion method where we use the, the amount of cost we have incurred so far as a proxy for the completion, the stage of completion of the contract. So for example, in this case, we have total initial cost of 80,000 we are expecting for the whole contract. In the first year, we spent 20,000. So we have finished 20,000 over 80,000, i.e. one quarter of the contract. Let us do this example now here. So here, the first year, we have incurred 20,000. So the profit to recognize is, we take the 20,000, we divide by the total expected contract price is 80,000, which gives us... Hold on, there's something wrong here. 20,000 divided by 80,000 should give us 0.25. I think it's because I made this into. Uh, no, I don't know how to take that out. There you have. Okay. So I have to increase the decimal point in the formatting. Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to make it in two decimal. Okay. So it's 25% complete. All right. So what is the profit in this thing? If you look at the contract price, 100,000 cost. So the, con the, the profit is actually 100 minus 80,000, which is 20,000. So we are going to take this, 100 minus 80, 20,000, okay? So what we are going to recognize is the percentage completed. Let, let me change this, percentage complete, all right? It's going to be 25% here. And now we are going to put the profit recognized here. Okay. I'm going to put the profit recognized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 25% multiplied by the 20,000 we expect, expected profit, which is 5,000. So here we can build up the Sistna Work in Progress account. I'm going to put in the first year's cost in the Sistna work, work in Progress and the profit recognized which is 5000 so at the end of the year we have 25000 okay so if the journal entry here to make is credit profit and loss account debit is the stop okay progress let me write that for you here okay so debit is the stop work in progress 25000 sorry it's 5000 huh? 5,000 and we credit profit and loss to show that we have made a profit of 5,000 in this contract and if you look at the balance sheet it's going to be stated at 25,000 less is this not billings if you are billing the customer now let's go to the second year the second year is we have finished 40,000 in this year so we have finished actually 75% of the contract i.e. 60 over 80. But for this year, we only finish 50%. So I'm going to take again 40. I'm going to divide that by the total expected pro, uh, cost, 80. And that gives me 50%. So what I'm going to do is take that 50%. I'm going to multiply by the 40,000. Sorry, by the 80, 
20,000 profit which we expect and there you have it we have 10,000 for the second year so here I'm going to use this now work in progress so second year we incurred 40,000 we put in the cost and we have also recognized 10,000 as profit there you go so now it is 75,000 right now in the third year we have again we have another 20,000 divided by 80,000 multiplied by the profit of 20,000. We are lucky in this contract the cost didn't change. Sorry, uh, I'm going to take out the two F7 there. So percentage is 25%. Again, we are going to use that percentage to get the profit for the year by multiplying it by. Uh, 20,000. It should be this one. Huh? So we take this, multiply by that profit 20,000 on the cost. Huh? Alright. So here again, the third year, we are going to put the 20,000 we have incurred again, and we are going to take the profit which okay, we have recognized for the third year. Okay. So remember, normally in this this now, we will have progress billings to the customer. Now let us add this progress billing here. Okay. See that is pro progress billing. Yeah? So let's say we have year one here and we are going to make that. Alright. So let us say we are going to progress billing. Let's say we get 30% of the billing. Okay. And then we will put 40% here and then we will put another 30% finally here. To make this, this should become 100%. Okay, so what we are going to do is the billings will be. Remember, when we build the customer, it is always based on the not on the cost but on the contract price. So 30% multiplied by 100,000, okay, is 30,000. Similarly, next year, 40% multiplied by 100,000 is 40,000 and this is okay again finally we have 30 percent multiplied by the contract price again is 100,000 okay let me finish this I have put this as progress billing so this is what we build our customer right okay so what do we do with this progress billing so the, actually the general entry for this is debit is this now bill uh, accounts receivable okay because it says that it is now receivable from the customer it means the customer owes us this amount of money because we, this is what the contract says right so debit is this now receivable account receivable and we will credit this into something called an is this now billings account billings account what is this account? Strange account. Basically, what it is is it's called a contra asset account. Contra asset acts like a liability account, but it is actually set off against the corresponding asset account. So what we have, let's look at the balance sheet here. Okay, balance sheet here, balance sheet, and we are going to do year one, two, and three. So we're going to take it to three years. So here, this is now billing, this is now work in progress, you know, and this one, the first year will be, that is, 20,000 cost plus 5,000 profit, and it will accumulate until it comes to the contract price, okay, or the, okay, so what you're going to have is, next year it will be 75,000, and third year it will be 100,000, which is, remember, the contract price. If everything goes uh, okay uh, as planned now then you less that is this now billings account less is this now billings account. okay as I say contra asset it is set off against the corresponding asset so what is the billings first year we build 30,000 all right all right so remember this is a minus okay so actually you got to put a minus there all right and the second year it will be all right minus this one 
which is 40,000. And the third year, it will be minus 30,000. So, basically, if you come up with a net, okay, I just uh, have to add this up. What you get is, so you get a negative 5,000 in the first year. Don't worry about the next figure. And second year, it is, you know, uh, 35. Sorry, uh, I, I forgot one thing. You got to aggregate this, alright? Okay, which means that, you see, as this increases, the work in progress increases, the billings also will increase. Okay, when people, when the customer pays us, we will debit cash and credit, is this not account receivable? So this receivable will decline, but the billings will increase up to the contract price. So here, it's actually not 30,000, what we are going to do is, we are going to, uh, sorry, this one will increase, huh? right? So we actually have to take this one plus this one actually, okay? So I'm going to have to put a minus figure here to ensure that it's correct, okay? So what I'm going to do is to add this one plus this one inside the bracket. And put a minus outside so that now uh, you see that now uh, it's increasing. So guess what? This is going to come hundred thousand, right? So what I have to put here is the formula minus okay. Oops. So I'm going to put that in bracket okay. That is this year one, year two, and year three. Year three is progress billings. Going to come to bracket. Okay. Okay, something wrong here. Come on, we do not know which one we have to have opportunity here. Alright, okay. So there you have it. The end of the third year is we have built the entire amount, and then what we do actually is we transfer the construction, whether we built a bridge or whatever, we do track. We will transfer this to the customer and it will be off the bank's balance sheet. It will not be in the Bank's balance sheet anymore because we have sold it. So you see, so the end of the third year, 100 minus 100 is zero. Okay, but what will be in the balance sheet is any amount of is this now account receivable which the client have not paid yet. And this one, so each year it will depend on how much is the balance. Okay, for example, let's we built 30,000 in the first year, but maybe they only pay 20,000. So 30 minus 7 will be 10 here. Okay, depending on the question. You know? So you got to deduct on a, Sometimes we build this year, we get paid next year. So this 30,000 will be here. The next year when they pay, it will go. But again, next year we'll build another 40 and it will be carried forward until year 4 when they will pay everything. So it's like that. Okay, so remember this. So this is a very basic, simple, is this a question. The things you got to remember is the contract price. Which cannot be increased once you agree the initial estimated cost of the whole contract not for the first year and we can get an estimated profit on the contract the final outcome which is the estimated final outcome of estimated profit once you get that you are given the cost for each year what you do is you have to take the cost for that particular year divided by the total contract cost which is estimated you get a percentage completion you multiply that by the estimated profit and you get the profit for that particular year. Once you get, you can do similarly for the rest. If the cost doesn't increase, it will be the same. And every year you build up this this now work in progress so with the cost plus the profit you have recognized in the PNL. So it builds up until the end of the contract. It should build up to the contract price because if you include the cost, the cost, if you look at here, this account, if you look at the cost, 20 plus 40 plus 20, you get 80,000. But remember, we have taken the profit in stages at 20,000. So you can see that the, the profit building up. 25 year, 10 year, 5 year. So, so 80 plus 20 is 100,000 uh, profit. Okay. Uh, sorry, 100,000 total uh, contract price at the end of the contract. Okay. And uh, for the, uh, what do you call? General entry is very simple. Debit is now work in progress with the cost 
करीत